Hi, everyone. Oh, my gosh. Who do I have here? I couldn't go live on Facebook. There's, like, something going on with Facebook right now. I don't know what's going on. Shout out to everybody. Okay, who do I have in the chat? I know I saw Cash, Bo, Pika, who else? Nebulous, Tinkle Tits, how you doing, love? Oh, my gosh. Gina, welcome. Kitty Koo, welcome. Welcome. Shauna B is in the house. Who is here? Who is here? Who is here? Uh, 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 I'm looking at the beautiful, wonderful members. Thank you guys for being here. You guys are awesome. Thank you, Kimmy. How you doing? Char is here. Uh, who else? Who else? Who do I have? Messy, beautiful, messy ball. Blonde bomb. Spooky fox. Kimmy, everybody. Thank you. Hey, Brianna. Welcome. Thank you for being here. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a lovely day. Um, I am doing what I'm doing, you know, just reviewing content. Um, it's been an interesting day for sure, for sure, for sure. Okay, we gonna hit the ground running. I see 62 people in the house. Hopefully everybody will start hitting the like button as everybody's coming through. So I wanted to talk to everybody. This headset's not working. I'm gonna have to get a new one as much as I hate. I hate that I have to get new headphones. I really do, because these were expensive. <sighs> Damn it. <clears throat> but hey, whatever. Hey, Blonde Bomb. Hey, Christy. Welcome. Bella. Welcome. Hey, Aesop. Welcome. All right. Let's get it together because it is going crazy over there on the Twitter streets. Hey, I see you, Brat. And Simply Monica. Welcome. Welcome. Um, It's been going a little bit crazy since the whole book release. And I've been sitting back and watching a lot of commentary and content. And I, you know, I, I attended the hearing for... um. BJ versus Kachar, right? The whole flop of a restraining order and whatnot. And that's just interesting because I feel like now it all makes a little bit more sense to me, the connections. I was trying to figure out why, like, this man out of nowhere, because I truly don't understand what the history is and how maybe the connections are between all these parties. Um, and it's so interesting, too, that this book comes out and those that were really pioneering the Free Britney movement um, really had some stuff going on in there. I just had no clue. But I'm glad that I kind of got a little bit of an insight. So I was watching a little bit of Sloan and BJ, two of my fave faves. Shout out to them. And then I was watching. I'm sitting across the theater right now about to watch Crossroads. They have it in the theater? You mean the Britney Spears movie, Miranda? I didn't know they had it in the theater. Hey, Trap. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. Uh, oh, Cape says there's an active shooter alert. Multiple locations. Okay, well, thank you. For the heads up, love, um, I'll have to, maybe I'll do another live stream later on on it because I'm kind of on this one right now. Hey, Leah, Leah, thank you. You're out of bed and having a Yorkie tea for this one, a, a Yorkshire tea for this one. That's cute. Yorkies, right? The little doggies. They're so cute. Um, it, Yeah, 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 right? For sure. BJ was... Uh, she was. So she did her little live stream about giving the report out on that hearing. I didn't know that this man had actually purchased that surprise witness LLC. No idea that he did that. Like, that is crazy to me. That is crazy to me. For sure. Oh, yes. No worries, Kate. Thank you. So... I guess it all makes sense a little bit. I, I didn't know who this brought, other than what I reported, an article that I found that he had been sued by Lou Taylor, and then they settled out somewhere outside of court and whatnot. I had no clue what was up, right? So I thought this was interesting. I was like, well, that makes sense now that I understand a little bit of the connections. But why is this man, like, like coming out of the blue, stalking and harassing, like, why is he doing all that? And it's, I guess it's just in my little head, I'm just like, all right, like, maybe this is a bigger situation than what we think as it pertains to BJ, as it pertains to all of this. Maybe this is bigger, bigger than what we're seeing, right? And then we have this book that comes out, you know, with Britney Spears, which I was, um, damn, like, not necessarily being a fan fan of her, uh, really not knowing a whole lot. 
other than what the radio said, other than what the tabloid said, other than what the people had put out there said. I really just kind of followed whatever was there. And I always had this impression that this woman was not well and maybe needed some help and support. Um, and that's just how I saw her, right? So I thought this was interesting to see kind of her perspective and her side. And I kind of give you guys a little upload about it. And, you know, hopefully you guys watched it and whatnot. But here we are. And I was thinking, I was like, damn, like, you see these bizarre videos of Britney Spears doing all kinds of interviews back in 2003, 4, 5, whatever, with like, Diane Sawyer with other people with Oprah and now you kind of um understand where this woman was coming from and it's so sad to me because I, I think part of it what bothers me too is that nobody ever shamed like Justin Timberlake for the bullshit that he did in Hollywood right but they were quick to shame Britney Spears they were quick to like I was like damn like yeah women do get dragged a little bit different we get made fun of a little bit different on social media and whatnot. Um, this is interesting. Interesting how it works. So I wanted to give some commentary and some thoughts to this. So these are my two two faves. You guys know I love I love me some Sloan, and then we have BJ up there, and BJ kind of talks a little bit about Brian Kachar and how he plays a role in all of this yeah Kristen right like I wasn't a fan I love what you said I wasn't a fan of Britney either but it's just sad what happened to her and her parents and her parents said to her she has not finished the book I uh cheated I was listen I was listening to BJ read it and I was like BJ I can't I can't wait <laughs> so I, I happened to have some credits on um audibles and just heard it and I was like uh you know I heard it, and to hear that she had been twice hospitalized, involuntary in a psych hospital for assessments, um, to hear that in order for her to see her kids, she needed to comply to working every day, okay, to her father's demands, because really that's what it was, to hear that um, that she just kind of gave up, and she said, I want to watch my kids. Like, I want to be near my kids, right? And as a mom myself, I can only imagine being put in a situation where um, you're being told, like, you're not going to see your kids or this is you're, this is not going to happen for you because you didn't do this. You it, it, To eat chicken and fucking vegetables for two years, to beg a cook that, by the way, your salary is paying – to cook you the food and then you don't even get to like have a uh, cheeseburger a hamburger something like that shit really did get to me it really she was cape she was losing a battle all the way all the way so uh, it really bothered me and i really hope i don't know if she wrote this book but i really 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 hope that she wrote this book. Um, I think that part of me says that she did because I kind of agree with Sloan. I was watching this. I was like, yeah, the language is very much, you know, something that she would say. But I also feel like it wouldn't surprise me if she had to have her legal team read it, if she had to have other people read it and dissect it and everything. It made me like for the longest time I've been watching this woman dance on Instagram and really not understanding like her. But then I realized, well, why is it up to me to understand what the fuck is she doing? Like, why does she owe me or anybody an explanation as to why she does the things that she does? Social media is free for just about anybody, okay? When men do this bullshit, social media is a little easier. Media is a little easier on men. It's expected that men are going to spiral. It's expected that, you know, but no, women are, are so it's just, mm, I, I didn't really under, like, I, I struggle with this piece. I do. I do. Her father should be prosecuted for how emotionally abusive he was. Yeah, Anita, and I wonder, like, I was thinking about this after I was listening to the book. It made me wonder if, like her kids, how her kids are doing, right? 
Because right now we've heard Britney's perspective, but like she was a new mom. She had her kids were like very close in in what the same year age what two months after she delivered the last the first one she gave birth to she got pregnant with the the second one right it makes me kind of wonder like what their attachment looked like given that so many people were in between the media portrayed this woman and i thought i was like well maybe this is how she really was but you have to listen to her side too right? You have to be able to understand, like, listen, I wasn't a saint, she says. Well, shit, how many of you guys haven't done shit on social media or, or alone? How many of you guys were not on hard drugs or didn't try something or didn't do something that was out of the norm? And then your parents might have stepped in and said, well, you need X, Y, and Z because you weren't falling in line. I related to that. I definitely related to that. But it's crazy because um, Brittany was not in my demographic, right? Like I was, like BJ said, you know, I, I was too poor to be a fan. And I, girl, so was I, right? I was poor to be a fan. I couldn't really afford a whole lot um, because to be a fan, you would have to buy the CDs. You would have to go to the concerts. You would have to have the posters. You know, you would do what you had to do to be a fan. And I will, I just felt like the music never really was for the little Mexican girl like me right? Um, It was nice music, but it just never resonated with me, right? Uh, It just, it didn't. However, her story, her adulthood story is a little bit different. It's touching. And I really hope, man, oh man, those people did her wrong. To know that her sister profited from this situation and then act like, you know, everything was cool. These, her, her, her blood, okay? This is her blood. This is her fam fam. They went and they did all kinds of tours and book tours and spoke ill of their daughter. But part of it, too, is like when you hear about her, her grandmother and maybe the mental illness that she was struggling with and having to be put in a in an institution as well. It's interesting because it's like we think about. um mental illness in our family tree, how we, uh, it doesn't matter where we're at in our time. We often don't really progress in areas that you would think as a society we would progress, right? Such as women's rights, allowing this woman to remove her IUD when she wanted to. Allowing this woman to have an identity when she wanted to have one. She was a puppet. She was. It's kind of sad. Yes. God, the obsession with purity during this era makes me literally sick. Y'all remember? And it and it didn't quite help. It's exactly, Kristen. It repeats itself. And it's crazy because, like, look, I, I was guilty of it because I was watching, girl, I was watching that girl hit the car with the umbrella. But I knew in the back of my mind, I'm like, well, you know, the media, you know, the paparazzi, they were following. We didn't even like back when Princess Di had the, you know, passed away in that horrible accident. She was followed by the paparazzi. Right. And then this incident happened, what, in 2005 or four or eight or whatever. It hasn't gotten any better. It truly (laughs) hasn't gotten any better. Right. It just. It's gotten a little bit more creative because now everybody, listen, I got my, I'm, I'm guilty of it now. I'm part of maybe the problem that is out there in social media. I'm blogging. I'm talking about stuff. Maybe that's the issue. I don't know. But it hasn't gotten any better. And it's so crazy to me when the whole mental health thing, having her talk about her grandmother's history of mental health, right? And the abuse of stuff that was happening within her own family, all of that. And in a way, here we are, a, you know, two, three decades later, it's repeating herself. It, it, it repeated itself in her own family. She's living it. She's going through it. And she's also being held against her will for 13 years. 13 years. Mm. 
Why is that okay? That's like saying, hey, lobotomies should be okay. Right? Thank you, Crafty, for renewing your membership. We should use lobotomies now, right? Like, are we going to do that now? Shame on the judicial system in California. Shame on the court system. Shame on all those people should be disbarred, locked up, do whatever the hell you have to do. Because somebody sat there and signed that damn paperwork. Somebody sat there and heard that case. Somebody sat there and reported and recorded and all the bullshit that happens in court. Somebody did that and signed it away and was okay with it. Somebody did it, right? Brittany is just one example. The woman has money. But what about the people that don't have, say, financial resources to defend themselves and do find themselves stuck in the system that way? Hey, it happens every... Yo, this, this is just one example, and it's bigger because of who she is? But what about the people everywhere, everywhere else? It's just, it's really sad how um, our mental health system, I think this is a bigger conversation. And I would love to see Brittany, look, I, you know, if there is one thing that I would love to see Brittany Spears do is pioneer against conservatorship abuse like if she could be the spokesperson for that and i hate to say it right because it's not her responsibility to use you know her situation as that but wouldn't that be an interesting cause to have we don't have anybody um outside of like i, I can't think of other people um that have lived through it through the abuse through the courts, through the Lou Taylors, to the through the other people, to really stand up and say, like, you know what? Yeah, um, I live this, and I'm going to help people that are stuck in that situation. I'm going to be the spokesperson against the situation. I would love to see her do that, but you know, that's you know that, that's on Britney and stuff like that but shout out to her I uh, really sad how her own family treats her it is Vic it was and I um I had to finish the book because I was intrigued I said well okay I remember that part I remember the breakup and I remember it, it, the the was, this woman is having a full-on abortion okay she's having a full-on abortion and the pain is so excruciating and what does Justin Timberlake do he pulls out a guitar And, and, you know, that was a decision that they both made, right? Like, maybe they both made, maybe they realized, but I, you know, I don't know how safe that was, given that it was at her home and there wasn't a lot of people uh, that were a part of that. I just, and thank you, Emily, for being a member for seven months. It is crazy. It is crazy. Something could have happened to that woman. <laughs> she could have died. Yeah, I mean, we hear a lot of horror stories about these types of things that happen. She could have died. They didn't want the scandal. We pushed this uh, uh, idea, and that, and that it wasn't just Britney Spears, but it happened too with Jessica Simpson. She's another one that I'm like, damn, like the the media and the expectation, purity, and making sure that you don't do X, Y, like it, it's just crazy, right? You don't corrupt the society when the society is fucking corrupt as it is, okay? It's corrupt. From the top to the bottom, it truly is. If you're expecting uh, the media to raise your children, yeah. <laughs> and then you're wondering, like, why the hell this is it? No, like, be there for your kids, right? Try to be there for your kids as much as you can. You can't save your kids from everything, but try to be there, you know? Yeah, Vic. <clears throat> I, I mean, that's... Um, it was at home. It was her and her assistant and Justin. They were sharing this house and whatnot. I, I listen. I had to go. I was like, I'm intrigued by BJ's reading. Although, of course, I was like, I would have hoped. I would have. I would have loved to have heard BJ finish the other part because it's it definitely is a little bit different when, um, you know, BJ knows her stuff when it comes to Britney Spears because she pioneered that movement. 
Uh, but it was like the the uh, in between commentary that I appreciated because I I don't know I like I said I. Um, this was a different demographic for me when it came to Britney Spears. Not that I didn't listen to her music. It was on the radio. I just couldn't, I couldn't afford the t-shirts. Um, all the pretty girls in high school <laughs> were the ones that were like, Britney, Britney. And I'm like, I did, sorry. I just, you know, and shout out to them. I just wasn't in that crowd. I wasn't in that crowd. I heard Monica. Did you hear Sloan said that? And let me tell you, after I watched this video, I was like, do, 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 do. let me go check out Sloan. Right now, right now, let me go check out Sloan uh, on this secret daughter. That man slept around. Justin Timberlake slept around. Even Britney says it in the book. They both slept around. It, see, this, this is what kills me. It was like Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake strategically made Britney Spears look, appeared to be the unfaithful slut. Truly. Truly. Did he? Oh, my God. I'm going to have to check that out after this live. He, he did. That's what Justin did. He made Britney Spears. He did. He's <laughs> like, leave JT alone. I'm sorry. It just, I could not listen. Stacey, I love you, but I can't with JT. After what happened with Janet Jackson, I could not look at that man anymore. I was like, no. <laughs> I cannot. Okay, I'm gonna have to check it out later on. The way Diane Sawyer spoke to her was a pa it was a woman shaming another woman on some shit that they didn't even know about each other. Is her name Iris? That that's the secret daughter, Iris. JT slept around. Okay, he got around. There's a lot of celebrities that have kids here that we don't even like. They got a lot of secret children out there. We know it. You I love JT. <laughs> He, I'm not shitting on the music. I'm not. I just, as a person, I'm not a fan of JT. Great, great artist. I'm just not a fan. And and what happened here? It was very strategic. He wanted to make it sound like, oh, poor guy. You know, they cheated on him and whatnot. But when he did that Janet Jackson shit, and then the music that he brought out of there, and then the jokes that he was making, even though Janet Jackson was very much like, I'm not going to get into the mud of this. She didn't want to answer any questions. But I know myself, as someone that fucking loved Janet Jackson, that was it. That was it. No, no, no. No, no, no. Just saying. <laughs> Y'all are making me get onto a tangent. Oh, my God, these comments. Oh, I just wanted to hang out with you guys. Thank you, Crafty, for gifting <laughs> a member. Thank you, my love. If you guys got a membership from Crafty, please drop a heart in the chat. The real, uh, is it Heats? Hurts? Let me know. Thank you for becoming a member, love. Shout out to you. I'm going to call you the real. I don't know if I'm reading that correctly. Correct me in the chat, though. I absolutely love JT. All this super disappointing. Yeah, um, he's no saint. You know what I'm saying? He's no saint. JT's not a saint. And, and it's just not JT. There's a lot of celebrities out there that have a lot of kids all over the place. Okay? Some people may not know that their kids are, you know, they just, they slept around. They slept around. None of these people are, you know, holier than thou. JT cheated first. All Britney did was kiss another guy, in my opinion. I don't think, um, I think she did cheat. Eventually. JT was cheating. Heidi's. 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 Thank you, love. J JT cheated. Um, or excuse me, Brittany did cheat, but they were both cheating on each other. They, they were just young. You know what I'm saying? Uh, who is it? Wade Robson, the dancer, the one that came out with the accusations against Michael Jackson. You know, all of this is very interesting to me that I'm like, oh my God, all of it. All of it. Anyways. Um, didn't he have a song with Rihanna and T.I.? They did a song together. Oh, man, that's, I love that song. Thank you, Blonde. Thank you for the eight-month membership. It says, get keep up the great work. Thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Hey, everybody. All right. So I want to talk a little bit about this because um, BJ talks to Sloan about the, you know, whole situation with Brian Kachar. 
Okay. And then we're going to get into a little bit of what BJ said on her video. And the first, like, you know, when we first started learning about the free Britney movement and learning about Loom Taylor, there was someone who created a website using Loom Taylor's identity in some way. And wow. ultimately they wanted to, I believe, expose her, but Loom Taylor wasn't having it and ended up suing this man. Correct. That is correct. And so she sued him, like what, for like a uh, copyright infringement or defamation or all of it? So I don't have the case in front of me. From what I remember, she sued him. Uh, she's she's based in California and Nashville, I think. So she sued him in the state where he lives, which is not California or Tennessee. I think it was for copyright. Like I really um, like, see, I didn't even know all this history. I knew that there was a lawsuit between uh, Lou Taylor and Brian Kachar something about damn it see and i talked about it in another video hold up let me see if i can pull it up brian kachar and lou taylor and i think it was was it the daily piece no the daily mail did talk about this back in 2019 this it's the same article that i posted up this is what it was so this was the daily mail um Free Britney supporter fights back against suit brought on by Britney Spears manager Lou Taylor, who claims the fan bought website domain in her name and shared defamatory posts. So he was doing all this. So when I heard that Mr. Kachar bought that surprise witness LLC, like that's how he gets down. I mean, that's just that's a little too much. That's a little too much. And it's a little scary, in my opinion. And I did get a get a peek on what Mr. Uh, uh, Kachar looked like. Okay. I I I, I was like, wow. Yes, yeah, spooky. It is definitely sus. For sure, Miss O. I agree with you on that statement. He was was it defamation? I think it was copyright because he had started a website called like lewmtaylor.net or lewmtaylor.com, something like that. This is just from my memory. And mm -hmm. Lou was like, it's confusing because obviously I am my own name and he's got my pictures up here and he's got my information up here and it might look like I started this website. I think that's how, that's what it was. I guess I should have read the, the suit before coming on here. But I, from my memory, that's what it was. There mm -hmm. were supposed to be de uh, depositions or something going on and sort of the day before. This is all Free Britney folklore, too. This isn't like exclusive mm -hmm. information. This is stuff, if you're in the Free Britney movement and you have been for years, then you would have heard about this lawsuit. And mm -hmm. Lou Taylor did sue this person and for using her for using her name in a website. And then the other stuff in the website was like maybe like brand depreciation or something like that. I don't remember what was on the website, but it did appear that this was a Britney Spears fan who was in the Free Britney movement who was trying to come after Lou Taylor and wow. expose her. Well, they ended up settling that lawsuit and there was screenshots circulated that it was for a monetary amount, $20,000 namely. I don't know if Lou paid him the 20. I don't know if he paid her the 20,000. I really don't know. But this person kind of stopped talking about Lou Taylor after the settlement. And people took it to mean that it was because an NDA was signed or like a mutual we won't talk about each other agreement. I have no idea what happened. I've never asked. And I mean, we we can see the public court filings, but all this stuff from behind the scenes, we just don't know. That person, when I first started in the movement, he was very nice to me. He was nothing but pleasant with me. We were in group chats together. I mean, we didn't have like extensive conversations or anything, but publicly, you know, parasocially. Do you think that he settled with Lou Taylor and then somehow in that agreement, it became he can't talk about anything with regarding free Britney anymore and um, anything against Anything against Lou Taylor, that's part of the settlement that he can't talk about Lou Taylor. He can't talk about Free Britney. So then he then turns against anybody that is talking about Free Britney or that is pioneering that movement. It kind of made me wonder if that was the case, if this was it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I thought Britney Spears, when I was really young, I was obsessed. Let me see what you guys were saying. That's what I'm thinking. And some of you guys may have more info on this because let me tell you when i first saw when i was looking at the legal documents and the amended complaint when 
Brian Kachar came up. I said, who the fuck is this? And why is he submitting a, a restraining order? I didn't understand. I was like, I don't understand. Who is this? And then I, I Google searched him. And then I found out he was the one that was sued by Lou Taylor. That's how I found out about him. And I said, well, damn, like, what did, what did he do? And then you're finding out about the domain. I mean, I knew about that because of that 2019 article. I want to know what, see, simply, and that's my question is, I want to know why he just showed back up and was just filming people rather than being there to advocate. So, like, was he ever really part of the movement? Or had he settled with Lou Taylor that he's like, I'm going to start, like, showing you who is part of the Free Britney movement and taking these pictures, and then that way, that can be directed that way. We don't know. What if he was? What if he was never really part of the free move, Britney movement, and he was just a plant? And the lawsuit was Mario, and they Mario, and they settled it to make it. See, and that's what people are saying too. It wouldn't surprise me. the The settlement is undisclosed. I don't. I think it's sealed. I don't even think we could really look into it. This is why BJ is referencing screenshots. Right, right, right. That's what I'm thinking. So he, like, allegedly he became a mole. Like, what are you going to do? Maybe that was part of the agreement is for him to become a mole. But what I don't understand is, why is he making an appearance now? And is he the person that's running that account on Twitter that I had to block? Who also stole the name? That's a prize witness. That's a prize something. I said... This is somebody bigger. I, I the animosity towards BJ is pretty huge from this person who's running that account. Who I don't know. I find that to be interesting. I thought it was cool. He was in the free Britney movement, whatever. Well, I don't know. At some point, right before Britney spoke, or maybe it was right before Britney got free, he just flipped, and he didn't just flip on me. He flipped on a lot of the leaders of the Free Britney movement. He was, I mean, it was very scary. It was so scary that the Free the Free Britney rally organizers actually hired and paid for security from their own pocket. That's crazy. Because in part, this person was acting so unhinged and no one really knew why he had flipped like that. Mm -hmm. Well, fast forward to the November hearing for Britney's case where Britney was actually freed from the conservatorship. It was the biggest rally. We had a parade. I think you were there. I mean, it was a whole thing. Yeah. Well, this person, he showed up to that rally, which he is allowed to do. It, uh, it is a public court hearing. But the way he did it, he showed up alone and it was very menacing. And he had his phone out the whole time. He never talked to anybody that anybody saw. He had his phone out and he was just like smiling and going through the crowd. And this is after he had been attacking us viciously online. And um, I was scared. He's a large man. I am a small woman. I am not prepared to like get in any type of physical confrontation with anybody, but in particular, a large man. It runs so me. I got my yeah. little ticket from the court. I got my place in line and I went back to my hotel room. And that is where I stayed for most of the day. And actually, it hurt my feelings because, I mean, I had worked at that point for like two years in the Free Britney movement. You know, and, and Monica... If he made an LLC using BJ's channel name, I wouldn't be surprised he made accounts to harass her, which is rich considering he files a TPO, a TPO. So, I found that out today. I had no idea that he did an LLC, and that surprise witness LLC out of Georgia. So I was thinking, I was like, when, when, because I attended that hearing, I said, well, was that attorney, you know, the one with the gangster eyebrows, the Chola eyebrows, was that attorney going to be like, um, like, was he going to say something to the effect of, well, BJ took that surprise witness's name and, from my client and used it somehow? Like, I was trying to figure out the why behind that i understand that at all that had me that had me that had me like feeling some type of way for this day and i couldn't yeah. even celebrate with my friends i mean i think i even texted you that day like i'm scared to leave my hotel room because mm -hmm. this stalker i saw him he was you like recording him. like there's 
I remember like I like yeah, I remember the recording interaction, and he's a big boy. Like I'm scared of he him did. too. Exactly. Yeah. He's not small by any means. I mean, it's just a fact. And so, like, even right now, my voice is shaking even talking about it. I have a video coming out about uh, it. But yeah. but I'm, like, legitimately, I'm afraid of him. And because he's un he don't know how to act. It's, it's people who's unpredictable. And so that's why I'm like, why is he, like, nobody was talking about him. Why is he suddenly making an appearance on this whole Lima lawsuit with this whole, like, why are you making an appearance now so this is this took me by surprise when i watched this video today he's obsessed with me so this at is some point in august like august 15th or so brian scott kuchar actually started a business in georgia called that surprise witness llc and i think it's because he's an obsessed stalker and obviously i own that surprise witness the name right but he was doing it in my opinion to harass and terrorize me he he did it with Lou Taylor, right? What makes me think, like, why would it be any different? It, you know, that shit makes me, that's scary. That is, I mean, if, if he did it when he was with the Free Britney movement, if he did it, then how is this any different? How is this like I, that shit? I didn't even know this. So to my surprise, I mean, I attended the hearing to my surprise hearing this part. I was like clutching my invisible pearls. I truly was. Yes, I almost met him once because he was coming. Oh, oh, shout out to um, I know I love Sloan. I've been following him for many many years <laughs> shout out to sloan um i thought it was so that they would have to buy the name from it well do you like a monetary situation right why is he helping lima how is he connected to lima they're all connected there's something bigger and more nefarious behind these conservatorships call me a conspiracy. No, 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 no. And I hear you. Um, I, I'm not like, I like conspiracy theories, but I tend to kind of stay very like, all right, let me see the bigger map. So I understand which way am I going? Uh, what makes sense? But I'm also very much logical. I like to think, and, um, I know some shit happens where logic can't even really like some things you just can't explain it you just can't but you know that there's a connection there having worked in government myself i it wouldn't surprise me that you know one that there's conspiracy behind that having worked in mental health how i understand payments work and how people get paid in systems yeah there's a lot of fucking crazy shit that happens in the systems it's the truth and that's not even on conspiracy stuff and people don't always get caught or caught up. That's the problem. But this right here, I don't find it to be a coincidence. If he was ballsy enough to do a website with so-and-so's domain and then putting so-and-so's picture, I would be very concerned. I would be concerned for VJ safety at this point. I truly would be. And I don't know what her options are um, that he would go this far and then he would align himself with uh lima how did he pay for that attorney and why did he do this and he did this llc on august 7 2023 yeah um this year he did this this year for what see i don't know man i don't know i don't know Mm -hmm. let me see what you guys are saying <laughs> lisa's like yeah <laughs> lisa lisa you understand what i'm saying um he's a passive aggressive abuser it, it's it's all weird yeah for why for why for why for why it's it's very weird how all of this kind of works out together. I don't really understand it. And I side eye all of it. It makes them look really bad. Um, this blows my mind about this lawsuit. I didn't even know about it. It is it's a weirdo move, that's for sure. That's for sure, Layla. It's that's a weirdo move. Um that's like 
Like, why would you do that? And they, I, I don't know. It's just a weird thing to do. And I would be very concerned. You know what this reminds me of? And not that you, may, some of you guys may not know this, but um, Shekana Joe out of the ATL. Shekana Joe, she had an argument with a, I don't know, Z-list celebrity, Sabrina Peterson. Sabrina Peterson, okay, for those that have been following the Tiny and TI lawsuit and all that other stuff, Sabrina Peterson in 2017 purchased Shekana Joe, the name, and trademarked it. Shekana Joe, had, that is her legal birth name, had to fight that with court and did that out of like malicious she was just being malicious to breathe out as a way to harass people to steal your name to try to you know copyright you get you down i mean it's easy he could you know do whatever he, he could file frivolous claims on youtube and do different things you know what i'm saying yeah, y'all know who Sabrina Peterson is. If you don't, you're going to have to watch my videos. You, yeah, she is. I don't like Sabrina Peterson. She's the bottom of the bottom for me. I'm just saying. Some of you guys may not know who she is. You've been following, Sabrina is an entire, see, Layla, see, you understand me. She stole Shekana Joe's name and trademarked this shit back in 2017. Shekana Joe. I, I remember her doing an IG video walking to the police station trying to get a uh, restraining order on uh, Sabrina Peterson. Sabrina Peterson was over here putting roots on half of the ATL. Everybody was getting rooted. I was like, that's some crazy ass shit right there. Okay. That's, that's weirdo shit. People buying your trade names and doing stuff like that. That's crazy. No, nope. be careful. Be careful. I don't find it to be a coincidence. Not at all. And I think that BJ needs to be careful, for sure. And it sounds like, I mean, Brian, I, you know, I don't know. L, J, L, T, B, C, all wrapped up together? Are you serious? See, people be trademarking people's names. Nobody's better not steal my name. I know, you got a very interesting name, Trap Media. I like it. I like it. You got to start a channel so nobody, like, takes your name. Just saying. For sure, Katie. Because it's like, why are you? Uh, the uphill battle. But it's interesting how all of this has, it, it's all connected, right? If you think about it. The moving parts. There's just so many moving parts to this. But I wanted to show that. And you guys got me talking about Britney Spears for like the first 25 minutes of this live. But I wanted to show that. I just, I don't know. This is definitely an uphill battle. And I definitely think that they're trying to silence this. They're trying to silence BJ and they're using whatever, um, anything that they can to do it. That's for sure. You know, weird eyebrows. Attorney Jay Abbott, definitely weird. Um fighting fighting i'm just like lord have mercy why are you like what is going on you said check my messages okay yes yeah but bj had a channel and he, he exactly beautiful message i just don't find any of this to be a coincidence not at all you want me to check my messages what's up okay i got it i i know somebody told me in the uh chat about it emily um hold up I uh, okay. Thank you. I'll check it later. Sorry. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I just wanted to talk about this little situation right now. What do y'all think? You think he's baiting her? Wow. BJ's the one that needs to get a restraining order. Yes, I think so too. I think she should. For sure, for sure. If I remember correctly, Brian. Uh, also made a claim against her new song on spot. Really? Really? They're baiting her. I think they all are, Robin. All of them. I don't, you know, and then Lima shows up to the court hearing. Like, what the hell is that all about? I believe that Lima subscribes to the enemy of my enemy as my friend mentally, regardless of whomever reached out to the other. The eyebrows. <laughs> Listen, 
I don't know, but I really hope that BJ is careful with that situation and, you know, we'll go from there. Uh, poor Brian. BJ had stayed away in fear of him. And then the squirrel acted up. Now he put himself back in the path. Stalker, right, Miss Amber? That to me is definitely restraining order worthy. You putting people's, you getting LLCs and domains and shit like that. You've already done it before. It's one thing to make commentary about somebody's stuff. It's something different when you decide to take somebody's name and then do something with it. Like, that's just crazy to me. And then you put the restraining order. It's just weird. Just weird. Nima also follows BJ's harasser, someone who threatened her physically. Wow. That's interesting. Love, Brittany, whatever she does, within reason, LOL. Okay, I'm going to go to bed, says Leah Leah. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to let you guys go. Um... Mm, who's footing the bill for the harassment, right? That is the million dollar question right there. I'm going to let you guys go because uh, I people are hitting me up on my phone. So I got to go and tend to that. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. I just wanted to give some commentary to what's been going on. I will see you guys on the next one. Please hit the like button and rabbits out. Bye, guys. <laughs>